got fired today after 26 years. I worked at a small hospital in a rural area. Worked my way up from entry level to upper management over the past 26 years. I read the posts here, but I thought my situation was different. I thought I was different. I was running multiple projects and supervised several clinical departments effectively at least that's what I thought. We had a new CEO come in about a year ago and I was the only member of the admin team that he didn't pick himself, yet I still thought my situation was different and I was safe. Today, in a mere 45 seconds, he told me I wasn't working out and he was making a change to the leadership team. After 26 years, my career ended in 45 seconds. So I sit here tonight admitting that I was stupid and naive. I never thought it would happen to me, but it did. If you think it won't happen to you, don't be too sure. Guy in mid-fifties looking for a job. It happened a couple hours ago and I feel completely numb. I have chills. Not sure what to do or where to turn. Sorry to be a downer but I'm alone and needed to vent to someone. Thanks for listening. I'm going to bed. With that amount of experience in a single location, there will be things you know about operations that the rest of your team may not. In the event they call or email you asking for assistance, do not help without being compensated. You owe them no favors and they can pay you for your efforts should this happen to you. CEO had earmarked your job for one of his cronies from the last place he worked. Working for this dick would only end up damaging your health anyway. If it's any consolation the CEO will only last a year or two anyway, so the crony he installs in your job will be looking again themselves in a short while. Seen it time and time again. And it's stuff like this that makes us all closer to homelessness than we ever will be to the oligarch class. Hence why we need social safety nets like universal healthcare and universal basic income that's detached from your employer. There is no such thing as loyalty. We are cogs in a machine that cares about profit alone. For-profit medicine is a sin. Your job doesn't make you who you are. Life goes on. Enjoy your family and friends. Enjoy your hobbies and interests. Sorry you're in this position. Don't let it get to you to an extreme degree. It'd understandable you're down. Don't let it destroy you. It's not worth the worry. Wish you the best at your next endeavor. That's a gut punch for sure. You'll get past it, and you'll be all the wiser. If you're able, I say take some time to exhale. It can feel like the end of the world, but it's not. You'll find yourself in a better place. Consider becoming an independent contractor in your field. You want to get a 1099 lined up. So you'll need a EIN. After you get your EIN set up a separate bank account in that EIN number and pay yourself actual salary everything through that account. You're officially your own employee. All your business expenses come out of this account. With as much experience as you have it's time to stop working for other people and become a business in and of yourself. This has happened to me more than once. But not after 26 years. It makes sense you are numb and at some point you will go through a bunch of emotions including anger and sadness. But. It was a job. Not your life. You will move forward. You will feel better. You might find out that the change was good for you. Deep breath. Keep your chin up. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. You worked with many hospital vendors. Network and see who might want you. For 26 years, you did the job correctly. Now, suddenly, you're not. Treat yourself well. File for unemployment. Consider hiring a lawyer. Not clear if you were walked out or if you will be meeting with HR for an exit interview possibility of severance. Just be clear, if you were dismissed and do not work there, do not answer calls regarding work product or project status. If they need information from you from now on, it should cost them. Do not take calls requests from your team. Refer them to the new management chain of command and let them contact you directly. You may be able to negotiate some type of package. 
also meet with HR regarding any retirement 401 insurance benefits you are due. You weren't working out? What does that even mean? Get a labor lawyer now. At the very least you're entitled to a pretty decent severance package after 26 years. Time to file for unemployment and consult a lawyer for wrongful termination. Apply for unemployment. I'm roughly your age and can imagine how awful this must feel. The simple fact that you worked there for 26 years is proof of your worth it's too bad that the CEO was too short-sighted to see that. You're actually extremely privileged to be let go for the first time at 50. Dude, I feel this deeply. Job hunting as a senior executive isn't as easy as most would think. I wish you lots of luck and hoping you got a severance to hold you over. You'll need a new resume that uses keywords that the ATS will find it's a very different game today than it ever was, all automated. Also key to success is your network. Reach out to colleagues ASAP and start golfing or whatever activities get you next to someone who can refer you for your next job or hire you outright. Get out there ASAP in person as much as possible, good luck. I took early retirement from my stressful job of 31 years, at 55 years old. In four months I was back to work in a job I truly enjoy going to each morning. It's a chore, but update the resume, LinkedIn, and hit the employment websites. You're gonna find something that works for you soon. This is why I never understood company loyalty, sorry op. Speak to an employment lawyer this may be age discrimination and you may be able to negotiate a decent severance. If you aren't offered 26 months severance pay, lawyer up. Shit in the CEO's mouth. I've seen it several times. Unfortunately new boss often brings in their folks, they don't care about you. All the help you need my bro 53F just changed careers in December. Good luck. Take some time, if you can afford it, to yourself and to your family friends. You owe that for you. Jobs will be out there and other medical offices always need this experience you have. Sending all the positive vibes and good shit your way. It might just be a good thing after all. Sorry to hear your story keep you head up lots of consolidation in healthcare right now and vertical integrations. I was recently offered a significant promotion and had to turn it down due to it coming with a pay decrease. Imagine that they are doing their best to cut corners and rehire people at lower rates regardless of ROI. I'm sure your skills are valuable and you'll find something. Network on LinkedIn pay for premium and friend everyone who has a job that you want. You can be one of senior staff somewhere in a clinic you have credentials man and it'll be blunt but you have had 25 years of this experience man don't ever sell yourself short you're an amazing person and anyone would have the best time hiring you. One thing my wife had to remind me of is that being laid off which is what sounds like happened to you is different from being fired. Sure it still hurts but since they let you go not for cause I would absolutely fill for unemployment and fight for a severance. You're also in healthcare which is a competitive field, though it sounds like you may need to move. This happened to my dad when he worked at Vanguard. They started pushing people out when new upper management were brought on. That happened when he was in his late 40s. I remember how hard it was on him. I know how you feel. It's crushing. Take care of yourself and set some time aside to relax. I got let go at 58, and basically had to reinvent myself. So be aware that the traditional job search may not be the way to rebuild your work situation. But like me you probably learned an awful lot of life skills, and aren't afraid of a challenge. I know you'll succeed. And to add to that the only people who came through for me was my network of contacts and friends. Contact them first. I want to tell you it could be a big blessing in disguise. I watched my dad work a job where he got treated like garbage for 25 years. He was fired. He now works a job that he absolutely loves and everyone treats him with respect. Watching my dad change, positively, because of just his job, is bananas. I wish you all the best. I hope your situation turns out like my dad's. You deserve it.